Even though the legendary Jay Cutler has left the sport of bodybuilding, he is still dedicated to seeing it develop. He has a lot of positive things to say about the classic physique champion, Chris Bumstead, and he reveals why he dislikes Chris Bumstead at the end of the video. Welcome to Bodybuilding Olympians, your one-stop channel for bodybuilding updates. American bodybuilder Jason Isaac Cutler is now retired. Cutler has finished in the runner-up position six times and has won Mr. Olympia four times. In 2006, 2007, 2009, and 2010, he was well known for his quads in the quad stomp position and is regarded as one of the greatest professional bodybuilders in history. Personal trainer Marcos Rodriguez encouraged Cutler to start competing in bodybuilding. He got his first overall victory at the 1993 Iron Bodies Invitational, but he had aspirations of becoming one of the biggest competitors ever. The 1992 Gold's Gym Worcester Bodybuilding Championships served as his debut for a competition where he finished in second place. Chris Bumstead is a sponsored athlete from Canada who competes as an IFBB Classic Physique professional bodybuilder. He is the reigning Classic Bodybuilding Olympia champion for 2019 to 2020 and 2021. He placed second in the same tournament as Breon Ansley in 2017 and 2018. It's unclear if Chris is connected to Revive, but he is part of owner of The Raw Company, which is also partially owned by Matt Jensen, the former coach of Nick Walker. Additionally, he mentioned the famous Arnold Schwarzenegger as well as the 1980s bodybuilder Barry Dismay as sources of inspiration. It's unclear what the future of the classic physique division will look like, but Bumstead is probably not planning to relinquish his title anytime soon. Bumstead developed the foundation of his physique by training for sports he played in high school, including football, basketball, and track and field. He was introduced to bodybuilding by his sister's husband, Jan Valia, who is also an IFBB professional bodybuilder. Do you know Jay Cutler's thoughts on Chris Bumstead's chances at Mr. Olympia? Even though Jay Cutler has been out of the sport for a while, he is still well known and a significant figure in bodybuilding. The four-time Mr. Olympia has publicly stated that he believes Chris Bumstead the current champion of the classic Physique Olympia has a good chance of winning Mr. Olympia open title one day. There's a lot of anticipation for the most prominent bodybuilding and fitness show, and who better to speak about it than the legend? Palumbo brought up the subject on which Cutler wants to expand, claiming that his message had been somewhat misunderstood. Jay also mentioned that Chris has been competing just fine at the top level. Whatever the health problems are, they can't be holding him back too much. Cutler also acknowledged that Bumstead is known to have some health issues. Chris Bumstead is only 26 years old and could compete until he's well into his 40s, like a lot of competitors do. The sky is definitely the limit at this point, and it makes sense when Jay says Chris could grow into one of the top men's bodybuilders. Cutler went on to say that Bumstead could compete against current Mr. Olympia Big Remy top contender William Bonac. And these top guys right now, rather than whoever is competing in men's body. It goes without saying that the top competitors in the open division, particularly the Mr. Olympia winner, receive the largest reward. To give you an idea, the gap between these competitors and those in other divisions is quite wide. Remy earned $400,000 for winning the men's bodybuilding competition, compared to Chris Rumstead's $30,000 prize for the classic division in 2020, not to mention Brandon Curry. The runner-up to the Big Remy in the 2019 Mr. Olympia competition, who earned $150,000, and Phil Heath, who finished third. This year, there will be $1.6 million in prize money awarded to the athletes, the highest payout in the event's history. But we don't have details on how much of it will be distributed among the many divisions competing, knowing how much the prize money differed between the Open Champ and the Classic Champ. To which Jay said, you know what? The youngsters are doing to make some money on the outside. You know there's no question, and that's what you keep thriving on. The greatest payout Cutler received as the champion was $200,000. Cutler believes it's never about how much you win in a competition. He remembers never having won 400K like Phil Heath. Chris Bumstead is similarly qualified. The fact that Chris is a pioneer in terms of classic physique, and that's what he's likely focusing on to pave the path for the division and build something bigger than just a big payout. Chris Bumstead recently discussed whether or not he'd consider competing in the open division during the offseason. Bumstead has been bulking up and recently revealed that his body weight was sitting at a sturdy 264 pounds. Cutler's comments about Bumstead's competing in an open bodybuilding were ironic because Bumstead recently discussed whether or not he'd consider it. 
Should he choose to move on to the open division? Are you enjoying the video? Subscribe to the channel to enjoy bodybuilding related updates so close without getting hit by the bodybuilders. Just like the bodies of the bodybuilders that grow rounder and better every year, we want our channel to grow. Although he claims to have considered experimenting in this other area, he proceeded to dismiss the concept in a subsequent interview, stating that given his health issues and lack of motivation, it is unlikely that he will ever make such a transition to his standard physique. Even though fans have been clamoring for him to move to the men's open division, Olympia champion Chris Bonstead has a well-rounded body that is getting bigger and better every year. With that in mind, Chris Bumstead is concentrating on extending his reign of dominance in the classic physique division. The next stop after that, of course, is the 2021 Mr. Olympia, where he wants to win his third straight title. It seems reasonable that Chris is only maintaining the same procedures as last year. Given his perfect score, he is attempting to strengthen his strengths while exposing his flaws, which is why he bulked up during the offseason. In the modern era of bodybuilding and what the future holds, many including some legends have claimed that the current crop of bodybuilders could not compete with those from the 1990s or earlier. Jay Cutler talks about how the growth of other divisions has resulted in a decrease in competition during an interview with Generation Iron. First and foremost, Jay Cutler believes that the growth of bodybuilding as a whole has been good for the sport. With more divisions, there are more athletes who can find success in their passions. They are no longer constrained by height or genetic limitations. Anyone who wants to work hard can find a division where they fit in and hopefully succeed. That being said, Jay Cutler is a very logical person when it comes to comparing different eras of bodybuilders. Cutler, a four-time Mr. Olympia winner, will always place first in the men's open division despite his respect for the other categories. He feels that the present bodybuilding period lacks depth because there will always be outliers. Despite the fact that the current bodybuilders rule the world with incredible physiques, when he thinks back to the 1990s or earlier, he discovers that the level of competition was so high that it was less certain who would win at any contest. I mean, I've thought about it. It's just not something that interests me, especially right now, where I feel like I'm just catching my groove in classic physique and enjoying it so much. Why would I think of something outside of what I'm currently doing? I'm just grateful and excited to be where I'm at. And I don't really need anything more than that, Bumstead said. Today, Jay Cutler sees that less frequently, and he believes that this is directly due to the expansion of other divisions. Now, athletes have more options in where they want to fit, which leads to fewer competitors pushing themselves to the limit to succeed in the men's open category. Jay Cutler appears to be portraying this as something different rather than a bad thing. Cutler is from a particular era, one that he enjoys because he experienced it. But just because it has more divisions and probably less depth than men's open bodybuilding doesn't make it worse. It's simply a different take on the sport. That's it for today's video. What are your views on Jay Cutler's opinion? Let us know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed the video, please feel free to give it a thumbs up. If you're new to this channel, bash the subscribe and enable the bell icon if you wish to have a body like a bodybuilder. And check out other videos on this channel.